To write the formula for sodium carbonate decahydrate, let's split this up into two things. First, we'll write the formula for sodium carbonate, and then we'll add that decahydrate. So for sodium carbonate on the periodic table, the symbol for sodium is Na. The carbonate, you're not going to find anything with 8 on the periodic table. This is a polyatomic ion. And you either memorize that it's CO3 2 minus, or you look it up on a table if you're allowed. So we have the carbonate ion, CO3, and that has a 2 minus ionic charge, and that's for the whole carbonate here. So we have the 2 minus. Because sodium's a metal, and we have this group of nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. We're going to have to balance the charges. Sodium, that's in group 1 on the periodic table. That's going to be 1 plus. So 1 plus, 2 minus. We need 2 plus here. Let's put a 2 here. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. 2 plus, 2 minus, net charge is 0. So this is the sodium carbonate. Let's remove these symbols here. When we see hydrate, we think of hydration, having drank enough water. Then we have the deca. Deca means 10. So this means we have 10 water molecules around the sodium carbonate. So we write a dot to show that they're around the sodium carbonate. Then we write 10 H2O. So this is the formula for sodium carbonate decahydrate. If we heated this up, we could make these water molecules leave and just have sodium carbonate. We would call that anhydrous sodium carbonate because it doesn't have water molecules around it. But this is the formula here for sodium carbonate decahydrate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.